and welcome to Carly Talks Music. This is a weekly, as possible, video blog uh, just talking about something musical for the week. Uh, this week I'm talking about tips for getting guitar calluses because I've done everything wrong and was doing everything wrong for a very long time. <laughs> so I wanted to share my newfound knowledge with those that maybe are getting frustrated about the pain they're feeling in their fingers when you first start playing guitar. So guitar calluses are a necessity if you want to be good at guitar. Calluses, you end up, it's like kind of an extra layer of skin on your finger that protects it. Um, or you can get calluses basically anywhere. Like when I was in gymnastics as a kid um, and doing like the, the bars, the I used to get calluses right here, but I don't anymore because I don't do gymnastics anymore. So first tip of getting your calluses is to practice. Even if it's like 10 minutes a day, if you're that busy but you still want to be good at guitar and get those calluses up so you can really practice, you got to play every day. Like there's just really no way around it. And I've, I was so busy I have found that out the hard way. And actually when I was gone in Austria for two weeks and came back to start playing again, it was almost like I had to start over with my calluses. It sucked. So yeah, first tip, practice. There's no way around it. Practice. Another tip that I learned um, the wrong way is, it's, and it's harder for, I feel like it's harder for females than this is for males, because as a female, everyone's like, oh, you have to have these nice, pretty, soft hands. But when you're getting calluses on your guitar, you do not want your hands to be, when you're getting calluses on your guitar, when you're getting calluses on your fingers playing guitar, you don't want your hands to be soft. You want them to be basically as dry as possible, because those are that's going to get the calluses quicker than if than if it's you know really soft skin. So one way to really get that to work is to soak your fingers or like put isopropyl alcohol on the tips of your fingers. That can get them dry enough. Especially, okay, especially, like I said, for females, I don't know about any of you other females out there, but I, I enjoy a nice bath every off, every so often, yeah? But if you're sitting with, like, your hand in hot water for a prolonged period of time, when you get out, you're going to notice that there's skin coming off of your fingers if you've started getting your calluses. And when that skin comes off, that is, that's not what you want. That means that you are getting rid of your calluses. So if you're going to take hot showers, hot baths, make sure your fingers are dry afterward if you're going to play guitar. Just don't, don't go in playing guitar with soft shower bath fingers, because it's going to hurt a lot more, <laughs> too. So like I said, isopropyl alcohol. I usually just like put it in a little shot glass and then just like stick my fingers in there. That's just one way. I don't know how else you want to do it. If you don't want to like, if you're, if you've got painted nails, you don't want to stick your hand in isopropyl alcohol, you can, you know, put it on a washcloth or paper towel and kind of like rub it on your fingers. But yeah, that'll make your fingers nice and dry so that those calluses come faster and with less pain. Because isopropyl alcohol is also a great pain relieving agent. Um, yeah, and you're going to be in pain when you first start playing guitar. Or if you play guitar, and then you stop playing guitar, and then you go back to playing guitar. Which is how I did it. Okay, one more thing that I want to talk about that I also learned the hard way. Was that if you, like, you will, if you're playing, like, for prolonged periods of time, you're going to get blisters on your fingers. Like, there's, there is no way around it. That just is how it's going to be. Um... But be really careful, because if you pop those blisters while playing, it's going to take longer for it to heal and to get that callus back again. So just be really weary. Like, if you get blisters, if you start to see that you're getting blisters, maybe stop for a bit, put some isopropyl alcohol, and then maybe play the next day. Just because popping those is going to make it a lot harder to get those good calluses back. Thank you so much for watching.